How are we all? It's just Stipe back here to continue on with my tocasterone and egdistrone review that I've been doing. Um, this will be my last one for this uh, two month cycle plan that I kind of did. Um, I'm going to wrap up my thoughts about it, uh, all the positives that I found, all the negatives that I found, and, um, and essentially give you more of a basis on what I recommend it for, who I recommend it for, and whether or not I'll be doing it again. Okay, first and foremost, let's start with, once again, how I use it. So it was two bottles of Egdestrone at 60 pills and two bottles of um, Tegestrone at 60 pills. So that's 120 each, 240 in total. And I was taking four a day, aka eight weeks worth of. Um, did I find that Egdestrone and Tegestrone had the exact same effect while I took it? No, I did not. I actually found them to be quite different, even though they are somewhat similar um, in terms of the way they work. Um, for me, I found that this stream um, was really, really good at making you want to eat a lot more, which wasn't necessarily what I was looking for at the time, but maybe in the future would be something. Uh, Tocasterone seemed to have more of a leveled effect um, with really not doing much for my hunger, uh, which I preferred. Um, Let's start with just some of the negatives that I found. For me, obviously price is a negative. Um, this is not cheap products you can find. I mean, if you're going with, let's just say like Derek's Tecestrone, I would recommend four pills a day, two month cycle, that's four bottles, that's $240 for two months. It doesn't sound like anything crazy, um, it's an each to their own, but it is some amount of money that you'll be losing out on. Um, and you know, some people say you can get a cheaper cycle than that. So each to their own. Uh, potentially a negative is your hair seems to grow quicker, facial hair, body hair, hair on top of your head, nails, etc. That could be a benefit some, for somebody. Um, as you can see, a lot of the negatives, you could spin into positives, right? Um, obviously price is never gonna be the biggest positive unless it's free or unless it's like dirt cheap. All right, the negatives didn't seem to, to really have in terms of like, there wasn't a lot of them. Those are really like the main ones and couldn't care less. Um, let's look at the positives. So over the span of these last eight weeks that I've been taking Turk and Ecti, I have noticed quite a few positives. Um, minor improvements in sleep, um, improvements in mood, um, improvements in strength were quite clear, improvements in endurance were quite clear. And this is coming from somebody that didn't really get to test these products towards their full potential. And what I mean by that is I have had injuries throughout these eight weeks and have literally barely done upper body. And this is why it brings me to probably the biggest benefit. Um, when most people seem to talk about Turk and Ecti, they talk about the strength gains and they talk about, you know, the muscular endurance gains. And then it's like a side thing that they tend to notice is muscularity gains. For me, the primary thing that I noticed in this was muscularity gains. Um, if you've seen my video previously, a couple of weeks ago that I did, um, in that video, I show you a difference between myself at 89 kg and myself at 95, almost 96. Um, I look just about as lean. Um, I do have a bit of a pump and probably more water in me. So obviously I'm not six plus kilos of muscle bigger. Like that's absurd. But um, I'm maybe a percent heavier in body fat, but I look even better. And that's with training. And that was, I think after four or five weeks of training, no upper body, like damn near no upper body. I mean, it's like 30, two 30 minute sessions a week and nothing heavy, hardly anything that's hitting you in terms of, hypertrophy or stimulating you in any way like that. And I still got bigger and I still got more defined. My abs were popping more. Um, my legs grew quite a bit. Um, admittedly, I've been really, really thrashing my legs. So I was not surprised to see my legs grow. Like if I'm being completely honest with you, um, that was almost expected for me. So there was those little benefits that I was like, man, that's, that's pretty cool to see shit like that. Um, yeah, those are some of the little benefits. Uh, 
I'm not gonna, you know, make this video too lengthy in terms of who do I recommend this for? I recommend this for probably most people. Like, if you're really, really budgeting, yeah, don't take this. Like, obviously do everything you buy, whether it's the greatest thing of all time or something you just wanna buy because it's materialistic or something you wanna buy because you wanna experiment with yourself. Make sure you can fucking afford it. Don't be an idiot. Don't buy things you can't afford. Don't owe people money. Don't anything like that. But if you have the money for it and you're willing to spend it and you're willing to you know, trial it for yourself, yeah, I definitely recommend it. I mean, I didn't have any negatives really from it. Um, in what stage do I think this is important that you might try? If you're like somebody like me that's been training for quite a while and you know, you're just looking to find something that's not a steroid to give you a boost, it's great. Um, I recommend this for people that don't want to fuck with their hormones, don't want to fuck with injections, etc. I think it's great for that. Um, and will I be using it again? You know, to wrap things up? Yeah, I will. Um, now, I probably won't be taking it again for a little bit, maybe at least a month. I need to get my shoulders a bit more sorted because the reality of this is next time I do it, I want to do it properly where I can actually push the weights. Man, I have not been able to. I've barely been able to do cardio because my shoulder, I know that might sound weird to some of you, but yeah, cardio is a bit tricky to do. I can do the stepper. The problem with the stepper is if I'm concentrating on, you know, pushing my legs and doing, you know, weighted CC squats, doing sets of like 150 walking lunges, and then on other days I'm doing heavy, heavy leg presses, squats, etc. I can't really do too much um, step ups because it's just fatiguing my legs too much. Running fucks with my shoulder a bit. Uphill walking also for some odd reason seems to fuck with it. And the elliptical um, bike messes with my hip flexors. So try not to. So I've been a bit limited um, to what I can do in terms of cardio, but I would love to see what I can achieve on this if I do a minor bulk and then do a cut for two months while I'm Turk. Um, and I say Turk because I don't think I'd wanna try ecdyserine while I'm bulking. I just think that would be too much um, in terms of, yeah, what ecdyserine does for my hunger. I really don't wanna be hating life, being hungry 24 seven, even if it is better results. Um, I've got good work ethic, good you know willpower, but no, there's no need for that. Um, already, I hope you guys enjoyed the reviews that I've done for Turk. Um, if anyone has any questions on this, please just send them to me. Um, I try to answer everything I can. I'm not some big fucking YouTube guy. I'm not doing this for views. I'm not doing this for anything. More so just as like, a, hey, this is what I did. If you want to know about it, fucking feel free to tell me. All right, hope you enjoyed them. Hope you guys are doing well. Tell me what you've gotten from your results. I love hearing about shit like this because it makes me motivated to do it again. All right, take care, guys.